Hello and what is going on guys, Tomcat here and welcome back to Spin Tires Mud Runner and this is Frog's Mud Park. Now I have been waiting for a proper mud bogging map for a long time and I'm really hoping that this map is the answer to uh, our prayers when it comes to mudding in, uh, in Spin Tires Mud Runner. I know that, that mudding in a game called Mud Runner seems pretty self-explanatory but we brought along a pretty good range of vehicles. We brought along two Dodges, one is a single rear wheel, the other is a dual rear wheel, um, one is Banks's and the other is Risky's and then we brought along CCS's Jeep Wrangler and we've also brought along this like crazy you know caterpillar wheeled um, Ford LT9000 so I think we're gonna explore in the Jeep first let's see we'll put the tire on the back spare tire and I haven't driven this thing in so long we'll refill that and as far as I know, this is just a massive map full of mud. And, well, I say massive. It's actually not that big. It's really not. Um, the map itself is pretty small, um, but pretty much everything is mud. Like, the entire map is mud. So, let's see what happens if I throw this thing in high and just go, like, properly mud bogging with CCS's Jeep Wrangler. Now, to be fair, you have to be careful which vehicles you bring here because while this one is not sinking... There's a lot of vehicles that will, and I was looking through the vehicle list, or my vehicle list anyway, and I was like, can't bring that, can't bring that, can't bring that. Oh, it's starting to bog down, though. I'm starting to, like, I'm trying to feather it. It's only, it's only partially working. Only partially. Oh. If you feather it, it works. If you feather it, it works. Like, it doesn't start to sink uh, until you really start to get some speed in the tires. Come on. And I love that because, like, you can actually, like, if you find the right vehicle that's, like, matched for the terrain, you can actually make it, like, a throttle control exercise, almost. This is, like, if you wanted a mud bog map, y'all got it. Like, this is a proper mud bog map. This is nothing but mud bogs. If I floor it in high, it just kind of, it just kind of spins. Well, until you get it on ground like this, and then it'll go. It'll go pretty good, actually. What's back here? I see a road, but I don't know if there's any, like... I don't know if there's anything, like, after that. I don't know if the road actually leads anywhere. The road itself is mud, too. There's no chill here when it comes to the mud. The mud is everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. I'm honestly thinking that the... Oh, God. It's... See, normally we would have had enough speed to jump that. Not on this map. No, oh, this is actually hard-packed ground. Oh, never mind. You go right back into mud really, really quickly. Really quickly. Oh my god. Mud hill climbs? Are you serious? I've wanted that for so long. Oh, I. what do you want to bet that this is going to be like ridiculously thick mud too? Well, not so far. It's still muddy, but... Wow, that's like... That's not even muddy at all. God, I almost... I'm disappointed, actually, in that. I thought that was going to be, like, deep mud, and I thought it was going to be, like, really difficult to climb. But no, it went up no problem. To be fair, the mud on this side is actually, like, fairly deep. So you could actually, you could try to get up the other side if you wanted to. But the difficulty of this map is going to change dramatically based on which vehicle you use. Because pretty much every vehicle's tire grip is going to be different. So let's jump in Banks' Dodge 3500 now. Now this thing, I've... I would say is pretty good in mud, but I've never tried it in like a super muddy environment. I always like to try them in high. Yo, oh, there it goes. Holy crap. Well, it works. It definitely, oh, it definitely does work. I mean, it sinks, but it's got so, this thing's got so much wheel speed and so much power that it'll keep spinning. Like, it'll keep spinning and just go forward. Like, it'll give you forward momentum even if you're spinning. Like, that's floored on the throttle. And it's starting to go. Like, it's starting to slow down. But I'm still moving. I don't have to lift. I'm still moving. Oh, my God. God, I've never seen anything dig through mud like that. That is, that is fairly insane. The way that thing digs through mud and just flings it everywhere. God. The only thing about this truck is it's got, like, it gets water damage so easily. Whoa! 
Jump landings are fairly soft because you just landed mud. I mean, like, that's about all you... Oh, that's about all you get. And if you do... If you, like, try to drive in a circle too fast, you will flip it over because the tires get stuck on the edge in the mud. Which is hilarious to me. Like, that... That, that alone almost makes the truck... Oh! Back up, maybe? Go! Come on! Come on! There we go! Easy! Easy! Go, 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 go! Thing moves, man! Even in the mud, it moves! Like, good god! I haven't found any of the wa- Wait, is there only one watch point? There is only one watch point. I gotta get over there and unlock it, because I wanna be able to see what I'm doing. This map is sheer hilarity if you bring the right vehicles. The mud gets really deep back here. Like, really, really deep. Really nasty. This watch point... Ah, there's the watch tower, so the watch point should be pretty nearby that. I love how we just casually landed on the nose of the truck, and it's like, No big deal! Don't worry about it! That's Mudrunner mod for you. Alright, so there's that. I don't think I was supposed to knock those fences over, but I don't think it matters too much. Oh my god, there's no stopping it. There's no freaking stopping it, dude. This thing is just a f sheer force. Oh, uh, until you crash it. Wait a minute, let's go back the other way. I want to try going up that hill. And I want to try going up the hill in high. See, even going up a crazy hill, it doesn't, it doesn't even barely complain. Let's try... Oh, what? You could... No way. The LT9000 tank is recallable. That's brilliant. I didn't even realize it was recallable. We do need to refill it because... No! Okay, there. I was like, I don't want nighttime. Nighttime is not what I'm interested in. Oh my god! The amount of mud that this thing throws off is insane. What? What? Oh my god, that's brilliant. Just like knock over everything along the way, but it not like it not like that fence matters for much, but <laughs> fences everywhere be like, nobody cares. They just run us over. Oh, this is the proper mud bog now. Holy crap. I am not moving. Oh, now I am. I wonder if the Dodge will be able to go through here in high. Like, that will be a true test because this thing was going along in high just fine until it hit the proper mud bog and just stopped. Like, it genuinely just freaking stopped. How am I doing on, like... <laughs> oh, my God. There's so much farther yet to go. Low three? High range? The thing about this truck is you can't feather it in high. There's no, like, it won't let you. It'll just stop. It'll just die out. Like, you have to keep it floored. Probably because it's so heavy and it takes so much torque to spin these wheels. They're so big. And there's so many of them. Starting to come onto a little bit more of a solid ground. It's not switching out of first now. Like, that's how thick this is. The transmission won't even go out of first gear. But I've got to get it all the way to the end. I've got to get it all the way to the end. Can you imagine freaking, like, actual, like, mud showdowns here? Like, dude, if you want me to bring you guys, like, mud showdowns on this map in multiplayer, I will make it happen, and it will be intense. I will genuinely make it happen. I'm probably, you know what, honestly, I'm probably going to go ahead and make that happen anyway. Because that's something that, like, I've wanted for a long time, and I know you guys have asked me to do, like, mudding, but there's not really anywhere to do, like, proper mudding. Except for here, and there were places back in the original spin tires, like in mod maps and stuff, but not in Mud Runner. And this is where it really, really, really just like takes a front row seat. God, well that's the end of the mud bog, and this thing finally made it through. That is ridiculous. I love how this thing can turn on a dime. It's perfect. All right, so let's grab. Banks' Dodge and run that in Banks' Dodge and see what it can do because it can pretty much fly through almost everything. But I wonder if we've found it a worthy opponent. We might have 
Because the Ford was fine until it got here. And then it got into that mud bog, and it just didn't have what it took to get, like, all the way across in high. Now, it made it across, which is definitely admirable, but... Oh my god! It And there is where it comes to a stop. Let me just make sure it wasn't, like, assisted by the edge here. Like, the edge isn't, like, a different, you know, different traction rating or something. Trying to feather it, and it's... It's only very minorly helping. Oh, man! It stopped helping! It's stuck! Oh, no, it's not stuck. Just had to let off and feather it a little bit. Oh, there it goes! It'll move a little bit in, in low three. But it's got a lot of mud bog to go. It's got a hell of a lot of mud bog to go. Dude, what about the Jeep? What about the Jeep? That would be... That would be genuinely interesting. I'm not gonna start it in here. I'm gonna drive it out. Here, wait. Hmm. We're gonna go to the tank, and then we're gonna recall the Jeep to the tank, which is what we should have done in the first place. Where am I going? Why am I going that way? I'm gonna try and get back through the other direction. Whoa! Even feathering this thing in high up here is barely doing anything. Let's see if we bring it into the middle of... into the middle of the mud bog, if it can actually do anything. Like, you get some by, like, feathering it, but it's very little. It's minuscule. In order to get these things through here, you have to do it in low. And, like, probably low one, low two. I mean, you could do it in low three, but it's, like, with a little bit of feathering the throttle. And, God, the mud is so deep here. It's so deep here. It's, like, it's it, this is genuinely the worst mud I've ever been in in mud runner and i know that that's just kind of it sounds really silly because it is but i wonder if okay i wonder let me go back to this guy right here this thing this thing i've never known it to have any problems in the mud so i don't think it will have any problems but i think it's going to i think it's going to definitely have a hell of a battle ahead of it once it hits that mud like the actual mud bog like, Little Mud, this thing doesn't really, like, it's not bothered by it, but the Mud Bog, it, it might, it might bother this thing. Because the high, the high range in this truck is definitely a lot slower than in the others, but I wonder if that'll help it. I wonder if that will just help it transfer more, like, more grip into the ground and just basically, basically pull a little easier. I can't believe I didn't notice this was here when I got the watch point. Like, that, that, that slightly frustrates me. Let's go. I'm still, like, it's still flooring it. I'm still flooring it. Refill real quick. I'm still flooring it. Yo, I'm still flooring it. And it's still moving. I mean, I wonder if that's partially due to the fact that I'm up on the side a little, but I'm not really. Not by much. Just rolling, although it is getting deeper here, so this might be where this truck calls it. Oh, not quite. I wonder if the fact that it's a dually is helping it get more grip because it's got more contact. I'm still moving. Not very fast, but I'm still moving. Jeez, this is like... This is an actual, just absolute crawl. Problem is, feathering doesn't really work as well because it's so deep that I'm pushing against mud with the bumper. Like, if I kept doing this, I would eventually make it to the other side, but it would take forever. Like, it would take so long. You know what I love, though? I love how this truck never stopped. It had, like, it, it, it's slowing to a crawl, but it never, ever stopped going. You know what I mean? Like, it was... It's so close. So close. And I have a feeling that just... If I kept the throttle down, it would make it all the way. What about in low three? A teeny tiny bit faster. Tiny, though. Like, 
almost not even a like considerable difference between high and low three. Like, wow, that's insane. That is absolutely insane. And you know what we're going to do to finish it off? We're grabbing this thing. Because I have a proper idea of getting it stuck. Um, <laughs> no, I don't want to go backwards. I don't want to go backwards, you idiot. Where I want to find out where on the edge of this the mud changes. Right about halfway up. Okay, so that's what I wanted to know. Because that's, like, so that means that the Dodge, like, the one that we just drove, was not in, like, the easy area, for sure. Jeez, look how deep those tire tracks are, dude! We're, like, confusing the game now. It's brilliant. Beautiful. God! Ruts for, like, for hell, forever. Will it go into high, and will it stop? Yes, it will! It's going to stop, spray mud everywhere, and dig. I love how it lunges forward, though. Like, it just basically, like... It just basically just dives for the, for the next bit of mud. But if you let it start spinning, it, it's literally going to be the end. Like, it's literally going to be the end if you let it start spinning. So you better not let it start spinning. But yeah, that is going to be, that I think is going to be it. And I'm going to call that one right there. Because if you want a map that will deliver on, um, in, ter like in terms of mudding, come here and get this freaking, th this map is, is what you want. It's, it's available on the Steam Workshop if you guys want to check it out and download it. It is, again, called, and I'll let you guys even read the name out, it's Frog's Mud Park. And I had an absolute blast here. I think it's a really good test map. If you want to see how your vehicle will actually do in the mud, bring it here because it will tell you. And it's got varying levels of mud, too. So you got, like, medium mud, like, light mud, and then you got the really deep stuff over here in the mud bog itself in the mud hole. So, again, hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later and make sure you subscribe.